cowardice will not be tolerated. Hello everybody, it's Rick Ashbringer here, and we are here on my mech bay to give you a look at my build for the Warhammer 7S. I'm doing this video in response to a video that Molten Metal did for his Warhammer 7S in which he equipped it with a pair of LRM-10s and six medium lasers. I mentioned that I, I equipped mine with three SRM-6s. Uh, he commented that it sounded like a hot build, and uh, yeah it is, it's a hot brawly build. Uh, but I'm going to show you the build layout of this mech, and so you can get an idea of uh, just how hot it is, how I run it. You can decide whether you want to build, use a build like this, and, uh, you know, see what you can do with it. Anyway, this is my Warhammer 7S. There's the camo job on it. Bit of Davian Red in there, and that's the uh, fractal camouflage pattern. I kind of like that. It's kind of like a hunter's camo, I think. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's go into the mech build. Okay, we can see here in the mech build, I have 67.1 out of 70 tons. So you have some room to play with this mech. On it, I, uh, I am using 78 of 78 slots, and all the armor, 434 out of 434. And let's take a look at the heat management, 1.13 out of 2. So... Yeah, so it's a little bit hot. You can see I'm running the two, four, six heat sinks plus the 10 in the engine. That gives me 1.13. Also in my equipment, I'm running um, AMS with AMS ammo and case. So I suppose you could take off three of those things and fit on another double heat sink if you wanted to. Uh, I choose not to do that. You know, it's up to you. The great thing about this game is you can, uh, you know, design your mechs just about any way you want. As you can see, the engine I've got, standard 280, gets me a speed of 69.6. And that's about all I could say. Uh, armor is standard, heat sinks double, structure is endo steel, and that's what you got. So. Let's take this mech out into a match that I just played recently, and you can see how it does there. Did overheat a few times. The match is a uh, skirmish match on Crimson Strait, um, and Crimson Strait's not all that hot. It's 24 degrees Celsius, which translates to 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's not the ho hottest map you could be on. On cold maps, uh, this build works pretty well. But on hot maps, you really got to watch yourself and you got to watch your heat build up and manage that. Something I didn't do so well in this match. But take a look at this match and then we will come back here into the mech bay. Pugsley, how you doing? Doing good. Let's get a win here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm trying to be more brawly, so I got two auto cannon ten and two large lasers, and that is it. I've got Reactor six medium online. lasers, Sensors and three online. SRM six. Online. All systems nominal. Alright, so everybody around to the right assaults through the tunnel. Heavies, lights, and mediums around the tunnel. Copy that. Lights, we want you to swing out far right and come into the buildings from the far end. So the assaults are going into the tunnel, yes? Yes, and the mediums and heavies are coming around the edge of the tunnel. We're going to hit them there. Lights are going to come up from the far end on the water and clear anybody that might be hitting us. Okay. Got that. I'm in my Warhammer 7S. I'm in my KD KDK-3. So, heavies and mediums, we got to wait for the assaults to get to their point in the tunnel, and then we can all make our little push. Okay, they bunch up then in D5, don't go around the mountain. 
Okay, the Wait reason they call this the tunnel of death. Tunnel. But I'm hoping that my two buddies here with me. Oh, they're pushing on us. Alright, never mind. It's Alpha. He, he retreated. Target engaged. Alright, assaults are in the tunnel. Move up. Go, go, go. We gotta push into them. Delta, Delta. Watch your right there, Warhammer. Got a Fox Shroud up top in the gear. Got a couple under the tunnel. And taking hits from those guys under the platform. Something you don't want to do in this build. Target engaged. Heat level critical. Target engaged. Heat level oh. critical. I want to do that. Okay, I'm down, gentlemen, but uh, I did some damage. Okay, be patient. We got them back on their heels a little bit. Target engaged. That atlas up top is really bad. I've uh, got one shut down in the waters. Keep filling them with rounds. Looks like we can try to push up the ramp, maybe. Yeah, let's all go up top. Airstrike protocol active. Target engaged. Target engaged. Beta. Target beta. Okay, he's dead. Start to push, guys. We got them seven to two. Seven to two. It's a skirmish match. Let's kill them all. Enemy mech. One left. It's a Nova. Target Charlie. Well, he's not the only one left. Sorry. But he's pushing Enemy into the tunnel. Destroyed. Good kill. Good kill. Target engaged. We got one with DCM. Oh, what shot me in the back? Hope that was friendly fire. Sorry there, hunchback. Anyone know who's left? Where is he? He's by under the top. Where is he up top? Enemy nope, he's underneath. Detected. He's running. Yeah, he's tunnel, isn't he? I can't see. All right, good kill. Good kill. Good job, gentlemen. Good job. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Look for this on my YouTube channel. Same name as my uh, handle here, Rick Ashbringer.
Okay, so that was the match that you saw. And as you can see, I overheated a few times uh, because I was not paying attention to my heat buildup. But, you know, if you find yourself in that situation, well, try to be a little bit better at managing your heat than I am. I admit, I'm not the best player in this game, but I do like to get in there, mix it up. I tend to be a bit trigger happy. But if you can control your tendency to fire, uh, spread out your shots, uh, this build can probably work for you. Uh, I am looking to change it a little bit though. I might add an LRM 10, take an SRM 6 off and put an LRM 10 on there just so that I have a little bit of long range hitting power. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this build. Give it a try yourself, but let me know how it works out for you. Uh, I'd encourage Molten Metal to check this build out. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. And as always, good luck and have fun out there.